Temperatures that signaled spring, not Christmas. Records falling. And ABC's meteorologist Ginger Z now tells us about the latest entry in this strange weather year and how long it will last. Dandelions in December, witch hazel in winter. These photos from the Midwest were taken just this week. And at this point, 2012 is on track to be the warmest on record in the lower 48. Dude. It's bizarre. It's really bizarre, and it makes me so incredibly happy. Linda's not alone. In Chicago, warm winter coats and hats were replaced by T-shirts and shorts this week. The Windy City soared almost 30 degrees above average Monday to 70. It puts me in a great mood, but it doesn't feel like Christmas. <laughs> the far from holiday heat marched east, where joggers in Central Park enjoyed a balmy 62 degree day. 15 degrees above the average temperature. And in Mississippi, high temperatures and melting ice forced this skating rink to close. Across the country, there have been 400 record high temps this December alone. The reason? A strong ridge of high pressure, a kink in the jet stream, allowing spring-like temperatures to sneak up where they don't usually hang out. So you're probably wondering and sitting at home thinking, now does this mean this winter is going to be as mild as last? Well, seasonal forecasting is a ways off, so I can't answer that one. But what I can tell you is all these hot spots up and down the northeast will be about 20 degrees cooler tomorrow. A cold front's coming through and the outlook for the next two weeks takes us almost to Christmas, brings almost everyone east of the Rockies above average. Diane? Above average. Love those dandelions in December. Thank you, Ginger.